What's up guys, your boy Darkskin, and today I wanted to do something, um, if you guys don't know, my last video was about Helbrim, right? And a lot of you were like, well, Darkskin, uh, can you use somebody other than Gother? Because, like, with Gother, like, Gother's not on global, yada, 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 this, that, and the third. So, what I'm gonna be doing today is I am going to be taking a team that is on global. Well, Merlin is not on global, she's gonna be coming very soon, she might even drop with Helbrim, but, um... She doesn't even matter, right? We're using her for her passive, and her passive doesn't even matter as much. Um, but yeah, so Gother's the main point. So we took Gother out, we're putting Elaine in. Now, uh, if you guys don't know what Elaine does, right? Uh, the re I used to run this team, right? I, I used to run this team. Just these units, right? And the reason why I ran them is because all of their passives work together. All of them. All three of these fairies, passives work together. Helbrom's passive works for itself, which is fine. Because he's going to be the main damage as far as, like, skills, right? Um, then King is going to be boosting the stats of himself, Elaine, and H Helbrum, right? So, all three of them are getting stats boosted by King. Then, Elaine boosts HP-related stats by 15%. If you guys don't know what that is, that's going to be, um, that's going to be your HP, your re regeneration, your recovery, and your lifesteal. So... Halbrum, whose life steal is 10%, goes to 25%. Not to mention, right? Not to mention if we look, right? Let's go here and go to his stats. His life steal is 15%. So once he gets the 15 from Elaine, Halbrum now has 30% life steal. Not to mention, like almost everyone on my team, right? Elaine's life steal goes to like 25, I believe. Right? Oh, well, it's two, so it goes to 17. But um is it not elaine's i think it's king i think king does king have life still maybe i'm tripping right okay so their life still isn't even that much 18 percent but that doesn't matter the 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 really good thing like i said is halbrum's life steal goes to 30 so he is healing for one third of his damage right one third of the damage dealt halbrum's healing for so we're gonna go ahead and get into some pvp and i'm gonna show you guys um basically halbrum without gother now like i said you can take you can take Merlin. You don't have to take Merlin. I know a lot of people that run this team without Merlin. Like you don't have to. Um, literally, all Merlin's passive does is give you one extra old gauge, which is nice because you want to get your old as fast. But um, you you don't even have to take her. Uh, I just really have no other unit to like take that like works with this team. So th that's why I'm not taking anybody else. There's just not really anybody that that's on global. I guess you could say there's not anybody on global that fits with this team. So um yeah, we're taking alt food. Um, we're taking the three fairies. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now, um, obviously this team doesn't work as good as Gother. Obviously, you know having Gother works better. But um, the fact that King is giving stats to all three of the units. Elaine's giving stats to all three of the units. Like, your, your HP also goes up by 15%, right? So, not only is it your HP, but life still as well among regeneration, which King is going to be healing. So, the regeneration goes up and the um, HP recovery. So, it's just it just all works together, right? Um, he has... He's doing the triple red team. Okay, he's doing the triple red team strat. Nice. Um, all right. So, also, Elaine... If you guys don't know, Elaine can rank down cards... And she can take away ult gauge, which is actually pretty nice. So, uh, that we're, that's what we're going to be doing with Elaine. Now, they're obviously going to go after Elaine first, which is fine. Because uh, we don't want them to go after anybody else anyways, right? If they go after Elaine, that's fine. Like, right, like look, we can look at we can look at Helbrum's stats. He's getting almost 2,000 attack, 1,000 defense, 27,000 extra HP. They're all getting it, though, right? They're all getting really good stats. Um... Okay, so Elaine already has ult. And then we're going to do this just so Helbrum can get ult. So, look. Elaine and Helbrum both have ult now. Now, keep in mind, Elaine's ult is single target. And, um... But it stuns. Her, her ult is like a green Meliodas, basically. Her ult is single target, but it stuns. And it cancels uh, buffs and stances. Okay, so he's going to take away the ult. Nice. That's smart. That's smart. And then he's going to go after Elaine, obviously. Okay, so Elaine dies. So, like, I mean, I kind of just got countered because Elaine's a green unit. And, like, he literally had a green unit. There's, like, there wasn't much I could do. Uh, but look, so, I'm... 
Even still, right? Um, we're gonna do this. Like, even, even, like, with the lane on my team. Like, we don't have Gother. I'm still gonna get King and Helbrum ult. And I'm still gonna be able to nuke. So, like, you don't need Gother to use this team at all. His team completely countered me. Because Escanor can take away ults, right? And his team is full red. So, Elaine is completely countered, right? And I have Merlin, who's also green. So, he counters Merlin as well. None of that really matters. <laughs> like, with this team, none of it matters. I'm look. I'm still gonna nuke him. Helbrum ult, boom, and then King is gonna kill all of them. And like I said, King's free. You literally just have to get Helbrum. I look like this is without Gother, by the way. And then like I know I have Merlin on my team, but I didn't even ult him to like later in the game. So, like, ult rush didn't even happen. You literally just need Helbrum and King. Now, obviously, Elaine's giving more stats to Helbrum and King so they can stay alive. But this is literally what the team is. It's literally just these two. It's literally just Helbrum and King. Because, like I said, Helbrum's giving himself stats. King is giving every fairy stats. Elaine is giving every fairy stats. So, like, if you don't have Gother, which everyone should have Gother. But, like, let's say you don't have Gother for whatever reason. You could you could use Elaine. Because Elaine is just buffing the entire team. That's what I did, anyways. All right, we're going to do this. Um, Do that. Boom. And look, once again, <laughs> I have King and Helbrum ult. They literally can't stop you. This is my favorite team. This has been my favorite team since day one. If you guys didn't know. Which, I mean, a lot of you don't. But the team is perfectly fine without, without you know, Gother. And I want y'all to keep in mind, right? He killed my Elaine first, right? So it's like he killed one of my units before I killed his team. But it didn't matter. Like, I'm telling you guys, right? Um, we're going to go over Elaine just a little bit so I can, like, tell you guys, like, about her and stuff like that. Because I know a lot of you guys don't really know what she does. Simply because, uh, like, y'all probably don't use her. So let's go ahead and go over here. Um, Elaine, which she's on global, by the way. Uh, green unit. Uh, her first card rank down can rank down cards, right? So if you attack somebody, you rank down their cards. At two star, you decrease the ult gauge by the number of cards ranked down, and it does increase damage. And then at rank three, it does even more damage. You decrease the uh, cards, and then you de deplete the ult gauge by the number of cards ranked down. Right, so she can rank down on her first skill, and then if you look at her second skill, it's an AOE attack. Then at rank two, it depletes old gauge by one, and then at rank three, it depletes old gauge by three. Right, so like I, I know a lot, of, I know we say Elaine is average, Elaine is a very average unit. Right, the only team that Elaine is actually good on is this team, and, and that's exactly why I ran her because, like, if, if you put Elaine on any other team, she's not good. But if you're like me and you love fairies, you you rock this team, it works. It works. It's it's very, very good. And like I said, um, her ult, I mean her passive, increases the HP related stats of all fairies. Her ultimate, 735%, which she doesn't have a fake combo, but 735% if you have it maxed out. And if you look at my team, right? If you look at my team, you can see. Helbrum, ult is maxed out, right? If you go look at Elaine, her ult is maxed out, which, like, her ult is single target, so it does, it's not as, like, it doesn't matter as much, but if Elaine hits somebody with her ult, she's nuke, they, they're one shot, unless it's a red unit, then she might not, but if it's a green unit or a blue unit, she's one shotting them, she's, her ult's maxed out, then, like I said, King's ult is, um, four out of six, King's ult's four out of six, I need to, I, I'm waiting for him to come back in the coin shop so I can buy two dupes, right? I just need two more dupes and he'll be maxed out, which I already have the coins to do it. I'm literally just waiting, right? I, look, like, I'm literally just waiting for him to come back so I can get him. But, yeah, like, this team, like, literally, you don't need Gother. Yeah, it's a lot better with Gother, but you do not need Gother. And you don't even need Merlin, as you guys saw. Like, in that PvP match, I literally didn't even ult until, like, Four turns later, which at that point, like, ult rush doesn't matter. Ult rush is so you can get your ult turn two. 
I didn't ult to like turn four or five or something. So it's like, you don't need Merlin. You don't need Gother. Like, this team is very flexible. And that's what I love about it. As long as you have Helbrum and King, like the other, obviously, like I said, obviously the, the most optimal team is Gother and Merlin, but you do not need them. Elaine is a very good pick for this team. Now, this is the only team she's good on, but she's still a very good pick. Like, it, I'm telling you guys, man. Like, I, I love this team so much. If y'all know me, y'all know Fairy Gang, bro. Yo. But, anyways, uh, I just want to make this video for you guys. Because a lot, of, when I say a lot, I mean a lot of you guys were just like, well, how good is Helbrum without Gother? Because it's like, you know, Gother's ranking him up. This is, this is how good he is. This is how good he is. He can take away ults. He can petrify. He does really good damage because he's getting super buffed by all of his teammates, right? On top of having an AoE nuking ult, on top of having 30% life still on this team. And even without Elaine, he has 15% life still. I'm telling you, man, this team is so good, man. I, I don't know if y'all can hear it in my voice, but I love this team. Uh, anyways, if you guys want to play uh, Grand Cross on your PC, 60 frames, no lag, there is a link in the description. Check it out. You'll be able to download Blue Stacks, download Grand Cross, and play on your PC for free. 60 frames, no lag. Like, you got, you guys just saw my gameplay. You guys, y'all, I'm not lagging at all. It's perfect. So, um, but yeah, I mean, that's that's it for the video. Uh, be sure to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys did in the comment section below. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.